if he beats me, he will have my respect. But he won't. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't touch gloves before the fight. Potter's not going to touch gloves now. Is he's champion? Yeah. Champion of who? He's not my champion. He can go f himself. I'm going to knock him out. I'm so focused. I'm so ready. I need to win. This is why I train every day. Enjoy this weekend because it's going to be history in the making. Of course you feel pressure, of course, and a lot, but it's good. They want to take their belt. They're not going to get it. I'm going to be the heavyweight champion. of all time, a ferocious competitor with an irreverent style and destructive power. He's beaten basically every top tier heavyweight there ever was and is, except for one, Joe. The stakes are enormous. Can Potter beat Rico? Absolutely, Potter can beat Rico. He's got the power, he's got the IQ, and he's got the experience behind him to do it. He's fought on some of the biggest cards in kickboxing history, but none bigger than this right now. It's the return of the baddest. Potter Hari is back.
in his home country. A sellout of a soccer stadium. The biggest fight crowd in the history of this country. Over 30,000 at the Heldra Dome, ready to explode. a physical freak, an athletic specimen, a national icon with a work ethic second to none. Rico has ruled the heavyweight division for nearly six years, but even he knows his career is not complete unless he wins tonight. Rico Verhoeven, one of the most technical and intelligent fighters we have in kickboxing. He's defensive, he's strong, he's powerful, and he's gonna drag you into deep waters and look to finish you any way he can. One of the most dominant kickboxers of all time. Here we go. Our tail of the tape for our main event of the evening for the World Heavyweight Championship. Brought to you by Power Dark. Smart muscle stimulation. Rico, 30 years old, 6'5, 260. Badr 35, 6'6, 244. And he will have a four inch reach advantage. 
professional experience. The edge goes to Bader Hari, and look at that 87% KO ratio. But Rico Verhoeven, his 20th glory fight, his 10th world title defense. And let me tell you, this is the fight we've all been waiting for for three long years. And here are my keys to glory for this belt. For the champ, he needs to control the pace, take the fight into the later rounds, use his defense, his ring control, and keep chopping away at the legs of Bader. Bader Hari needs to stay patient. In the first fight, he used his jab really well. He needs to use his distance control, use his movement, and find angles to really set up that power shot. Here are our championship rules. Five rounds if we need them. Three minutes each. Punches, kicks, and knees and illegal strikes. Three knockdowns in a round or four in the fight. And it's a TKO. Open scoring tonight. The five judges scoring it on a 10-point must-see system. You will see their scores after each round. sport fans have been waiting for a fight three years in the making two names indelibly linked to kickboxing history meet again for some unfinished business the baddest and the king Legacies will be defined, history made. Five rounds for the heavyweight championship of the world. This bout sanctioned by the International Sport Kickboxing Association at the opening bell, your referee at Sushi Onari. For the 30,000 fans with us live inside a sold out Gelradome Arnhem, to the millions watching live around the world, it's time for glory! Let's meet the challenger, fighting out of the black corner. He's a two-time K-1 World Grand Prix finalist and K-1, and it's Showtime World Champion. His professional record, impressive. 106 wins, 13 losses, and 92 career knockouts. Standing six feet, six inches tall, 1.98 meters. He weighed in at 244 and one half pounds, 110.9 kilos. Fighting out of Morocco. Ladies and gentlemen, the baddest, Bader Hari. And now his opponent fighting out of the white corner. He arrives on a 17 fight glory winning streak, dating back six years, and will make his eighth defense of the belt. As a professional, 55 wins, 10 losses, 16 of those wins by knockout. Standing six feet, five inches tall, 1.96 meters. He weighed in at 260 and one half pounds, 118.2 kilograms. Fighting tonight out of the Netherlands. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the reigning and defending undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, the king of kickboxing, Rico Verhoeven. Once again, the referee in charge of this championship bout at Sushi Onare. Okay, three minutes, five rounds, okay? It's a clean fight, okay? The stakes are enormous. Eternal kickboxing glory is on the line. Who is the greatest? 
Hey, is it Rico? Hey, is it hey. Botter? The collision happens now. In the first fight, we saw Botter really use that jab well. Moving, angling. So let's see how he adapts. Rico gets more aggressive now. Usually, Rico likes to settle into a fight, but he's on the front foot already. He wants the pressure. Stay tight defensively. Bonner looking for angles to find the power oh. shot. Oh. Hey. Hey. 47% of Bonner's wins are in the first round. Not sure how this is translating hey. on TV, but it is electric in here and almost deafening. Botter with a beautiful straight right to the body. Rico continuing to attack the legs, what he's known for. Right hand on the temple for Botter Hari. Botter's known for the power he has in that right hand. 57% of his knockouts are from a right cross. That rear low kick. Oh, oh, oh the right hand. Hand. The right hand oh. just put the king oh. down. And he is a knockdown. He the first time oh. his glory career Rico's oh. been down. Six. Bottom. Seven. He's power. Eight. 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 Let's see if Bonner goes for the close already. We said Rico was being a little more aggressive than we've seen in the past. Perhaps that was a mistake. Look at Bonner open. We're going to have to see some heart from Rico. Let's see if he can collect himself. Or is Botter just going to go after it? Oh! Big right again from Botter. What a start for the Moroccan. Oh, he just slipped off and ripped that right hand out of the body. Rico still doesn't look 100% back. for Bader Hari. Oh, Rico's jab there just landed well. <laughs> 20 seconds to go as Rico went to the canvas. trying to chop away the legs. Oh, Bonner opened up. Bonner with a nice, quick counter right hand. Looked like it was on the neck, Joe. Yeah, just clipped. One clipped, and then one just hit the, you know, the chin to the neck. Boom. Rico just flashed. Popped right back up. In his fight against Jamal Ben Sadiq, he got in a little trouble in round one. Didn't go down. But he did go to the canvas here. Let's see if he can bounce back against Bonner, who's breathing heavily in the corner. Yep, he needs to control that pace, control the aggression, and find see moments to explode. Let's see how Rico has recovered. Convi okay, hey. Conventional wisdom said, Botter early, Rico late. And it has been Botter early. Oh, Rico's opening up now with some power kicks. This is not tickable. Rico, look at the jab oh. to the right hand. And the king of kickboxing comes fighting oh. back. He got caught again. And now Botter opening up. Oh. They just oh. exchanged some of the hardest shots I've ever seen. Hey. This is everything we could have asked for. Who is this Rico Verhoeven? We've never seen him fight like this. Oh, I've never seen him open up like that. Oh, that level.
Ankle changing from Bonner. What a moment, and they are both rising to the occasion. The biggest fight in kickboxing history. Bonner swinging with some bad intentions. Double jab from the champ. Bonner now switching stances. Oh. Bonner going with the Leco Buster. Hey. Yep. That's his signature strike that made his career. Those low kicks from Rico are starting to add up too. Oh, that overhand right. Good uppercut from Rico as Bonner takes a step back. Level changes now from Verhoeven. Stop! Hey! We still got hey. three rounds to go, hypothetically. Oh, another solid uppercut from Stop. Rico. Back to the low kicks. Hey. Those will add up as the fight goes on. A left hand snuck through the guard for Bonner Hari. Yeah, his power punches are sneaking through Rico's high guard. I do like Rico using his jab. How, how aggressive would you like Bonner to be here in the second round? Well, I think he needs to find moments to explode. He can't just constantly open up. He knows it's five rounds. So he waits for that opportunity. When he feels Rico's opening up, he rips the power shots. That's a strategy for him to be able to stay in there for five rounds with that pace. Another rear low kick from the champ. Look at him just hammering down low with those legs. Oh, another uppercut. Rico's finding that in the mid-range. Oh, oh, left hook from Bader Hari. shot from Bonner. Yep, he's ripping the body with that right hand. That's how he sets up that right to the head. Makes levels with it. We saw Rico really successful with that jab, using his straight punches and then mix it in that inside low kick. Nice hard double jab. Third jab, splits the guard with that right hand. But Bader Haris looks to counter. That's where he found a nice power left hook. You saw Rico's eyes roll back. You know, his legs give out, but Rico Verhoeven found that uppercut a few times on that mid-range. So as soon as Bader goes in there with his guard, Rico has an uppercut waiting. It's the biggest kickboxing fight ever, and it's going down as one of the best of the year for sure. Rico knocked down in the first round, fighting back great in round two. Let's see how the judges scored that. All five giving it to the champ. Oh, and a high kick sends Rico down. Seemed to do more damage than the first knockdown. You can see his face there, Joe. Yeah, he looks a little defeated there when he's in the corner, so who knows how rocked he is right now. His body are gonna open up some more. Back to that right hand to the body. And now, Otter's down. Uh-oh, uh -oh. I don't like that. Uh -oh. One, two, They're calling that three. Fuck! Fuck, Mikey, fuck! 
rustig. Fuck jongen. Laat hem even gaan. Laat hem even gaan. Bader Hari in tears. Rico came over and told him in Dutch, your health is more important. Hari put Rico down twice, Joe, but then something obviously went very wrong. Yeah, I don't know what, what happened there, but you see Bader really throw everything behind that left head kick. Rico, you know, slowly falling down. You see him rip the body, boom, come back upstairs. Beautifully set up from Badr Hari. Badr really wanted to land that spinning kick. And something in that process kind of either hurt his knee. I mean, to me, it seems like maybe some ligament damage in the knee from the way it went. Well, they've got ice on his ankle. There were questions about his injury in the first fight, Joe, where Rico called Botter a quitter. But in this situation, he had Rico in serious, serious trouble dropping him twice. Yeah, he was shocking the world with what he was doing now. A lot of emotion from Badr Hari. <laughs> Think about the frustration that is going through Badr right now. I, I, I can't even imagine. Bader Hari's been in some legendary matchups, but even he said this was the biggest night of his illustrious career, and you hate to see it in that way. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, even Rico, you got to think, is a little upset. I mean, happy at some points because, you know, he was rocked, but you don't really want to win that way either. So, after all, we still have so much finished business. But, as Rico said, I mean, Botter's health is number one. It was turning out to be a virtuoso performance for Bader Hari as he dropped Rico Verhoeven in the first round with a punch and in the third round with a kick. And very impressive. I mean, the way Bader was exploding and landing his shots. There's big Mike Passanier, who's basically a father figure to Bader Hari. Not only was Bader in tears, that whole team, you know, the sacrifice, the hours, yep. the work they all put in. I mean, from his training partners to his fans to his family. I mean, it sucks to see a fight end that way. And I mean, regardless of any result in a fight, you want to just make sure both fighters leave healthy and can fight again. 
but great sportsmanship from Rico to go over there and kind of, you know, sit there and tell him things will be all right. That does not look like the face of a winner tonight. Rico winning this one by default. But what a battle up into that moment, Joe. Really, really a fantastic display, especially by Bader Hart. Yeah, absolutely. And in those mid-range exchanges, man, they were just nasty. I mean, you did see Rico land some good uppercuts, but Bader was swinging and really throwing everything behind those shots. Total respect from Rico to Bader and vice versa, I'm sure. As Bader Hari was perhaps just seconds away from picking up one of the defining moments of his career. Instead, a leg or foot injury for Bader Hari. And they'll hug it out, Joe. Yep. I mean, that's what this sport said about. Go in there, try to knock each other out. But at the end of the day, they're both fathers. They're both sportsmen, you know. And we all love this sport. So we got to thank both of these gentlemen for... You know, bringing 30,000 people here for all of us to, to watch high-level kickboxing. Yeah, Rico Verhoeven has two daughters and a son. Bader Hari has three daughters of his own. They have bonded through this process, believe it or not. You saw yesterday at the weigh-in, usually Bader Hari almost comes to blows with yeah. his opponent. Instead, they shook hands, and they now give each other a lot of respect. Well, if I know Botter, and I know him pretty well, the one thing he'll be thinking about after he gets medical help is how soon can I get back in the ring? Yep. How soon can I fight Rico again? Yep, that's definitely on Botter's mind, and just sucks having to see him get out on a stretcher with the injury. Big Mike Passinger said it was something just above the ankle. Not sure how bad it is. Yeah, he said something about the calf or who knows. That's why we have doctors to figure it out. Ladies and gentlemen, you watched it as it happened. With the challenger unable to continue due to injury, this bout ends with an official time of 59 seconds of the second round and is ruled a technical knockout for your winner and still heavyweight champion of the world, Rico Verhoeven. Glory chairman, Pierre Anderon and our Chief Executive Officer, Mr. Marshall Zelaznik, with the glory belt. I am here. I am here with the World Heavyweight Champion, Rico Verhoeven.
Describe your feelings now as you saw the way this fight ended. Um, yeah, it's so, it's so, you got a so double feeling, you know. Um, I let myself get surprised twice. So uh, for that, I'm very, very disappointed in myself. Uh, but next to that, like the full game plan was working. Uh, the impact was working. So next to the two mistakes I was making, I was feeling comfortable in the fight and I was making the impact and he was feeling the impact. Conventional wisdom said that you were gonna start slow and wear him down. Instead, you came out on fire. Why were you so aggressive tonight? Yeah, like I said, uh, I got, uh, I let myself get surprised twice and I probably let the emotions get the best of me tonight. And that's when you get surprised. That's when you make mistakes because if you think about it, he's, he's lighter, so he's faster than I am. So why start going into a clubber fight with him right in the beginning? So that, that wasn't a smart thing to do, but I did it. I got hit, I went down, but I got back up, right back into the fight. Third, third round, got hit go down, get back up right away. So I was still in this fight, you know? We can, guys, let me tell you this. If you say, Rico, you went down twice, you was losing this fight. You are right, you are right. But this fight and a fight ain't over till it's over, till the fifth bell rang, that's when it's over. So I was still in this motherfucking fight. You were certainly in the fight, but I'm sure there are many fans here today that would say it was just a matter of time before Botter put you out and won this fight. What do you say to them? Of course, of course. That's like there are always two sides to a story. But like I said, if the fifth bell rang and the fight is over, that's when it's over. And before that, everything can happen. We're now in a soccer stadium. Sometimes one soccer team is like 3-0 ahead, like the full match. And the last 10 minutes, the other, the other team scores four points. What happens then? You lose. So the fight ain't over till it's over. You say it's not over till it's over. We call this promotion unfinished business. In your opinion, is the rivalry between you and Badr Hari now over? No, definitely not. I told him, I told him, I said, hey, um, guys, let's be honest. What we do here is entertainment and it's a real fight. This shit that goes down in here is nothing but real. But in the end, it's your health that's most important. And everybody wants to get home after a fight, healthy. So if Bada can't continue healthy, he shouldn't continue to fight at all. And we can do it again. And finally, let's just talk about this moment, this night, over 30,000 fans in here for this battle. Your thoughts on what you were able to accomplish along with Bader. Oh, guys, let me tell you this. Uh, this is amazing. This that we did here tonight, this is amazing. And let's, let's just stop for a minute with dividing ourselves with being Team Bader or being Team Rico. Just let's unite all together now because you all are part of history tonight. This is the first time kickboxing sold out a soccer stadium, people. And that's all thanks to you guys. You guys all put your hard working money to buy a ticket to come watch us tonight. And we're thankful for that. So now I'm also talking on the behalf of Butter. We are thankful for that because this is what me and Bada live for fights like this where you guys can all enjoy. Of course, we hope for a better ending. This time it wasn't a better ending. Next time we're gonna do it again and we're gonna do it even bigger. Guys, thank you so much. My name is Rico Bruva. I love you all. Thank you guys. Have a good Christmas. One more time for the king of kickboxing, Rico.